A community family and investigators also in shock after the Franklin County Sheriff says a teen boy decapitated his mother. That 18 year old now in custody and facing first degree murder charges. Since first bringing this to you as breaking news at five, we've learned disturbing new details from the Franklin County Sheriff. We do want to warn you, some of them are extremely graphic. CBS North Carolina's Amy Cutler is in the Zebulon community with the very latest on this. Amy. Sean, Sharon, uh, neighbor after neighbor telling us that they were just shocked by what authorities say unfolded in this house behind us. They tell us the family that lives there is quiet and kept to themselves. It's kind of graphic. Franklin County Sheriff Kent Winstead says when his deputy arrived at 90 Morgan Drive, he found 18 year old Oliver Funes holding his mother's head in one hand and a large butcher knife in the other. Authorities say the teen decapitated Yesenia Funes Beatrice Machado and then called 911. Two of his younger siblings were home at the time. Never had anything like this. This is a complete shock to us. Well, I just couldn't believe it. I mean, Randy Mullins lives just across the street. He says he was leaving his home around one this afternoon, shortly after it happened, and saw a deputy. He had the two small children out in the yard. He was taking care of them. He had the other, uh, the one, the son that did it. They had him handcuffed, and he was sitting there just like he didn't have a care in the world. Authorities couldn't say what led up to the violence or whether or not deputies had been called to that home before. When we first arrived on scene, we spotted clearly distraught family members. Neighbors and tax records confirm the family lived at the home less than a year. Does it appear that the kids witnessed this? I can't say they're such a young age. It's, it's hard to be able to say they, they don't express themselves enough to be able to tell at this point. The sheriff tells us that that couple has four children, or rather four kids. Three of them are now staying with their father again. As for a possible motive or what may have led up to this, the sheriff says at that at this point it is unclear. Live in Zebulon, I'm Amy Cutler, CBS North Carolina. Amy, thank you.